Hello guys, welcome back to BBPU channel again. Today I will be talking about Binance.com. I'm going to teach you how to use the P2P function under Binance.com to um, purchase USDT or even BUSD for your crypto trading. So first of all, under Binance, it is very easy to use. You just need to register the account under Binance and I will leave the link below and you can use the link to register so that we can be a referral and you can earn commission just by um, doing trading on binance.com um, first of all this is not a financial advice this is just a tutorial on how to use binance.com under p2p trading so how to do trading of or how to purchase cryptocurrency under binance.com you can do three ways one is buy credit card p2p trading and third party payment today topic will be talking about p2p trading but i will just do a brief overview on what is the credit card and third party payment if you go to under buy crypto here on top of it okay first first of all all the currency that is trading under binance is by usd okay so uh, you will need to convert your whatever country currency to your to the usd in order to purchase um usdt or busd depending on what kind of um currency or stable coins that you require okay so if you want to buy crypto using your credit card which i do not recommend because there's a lot of um, transaction fee and due to high fee i think it will be best if you do um, p2p trading but for those who like to use credit card maybe this is one of the option for you to use to get your usdt or busd okay so for example down here right you can link using to buy your credit cards and you can maybe you want to buy just hundred dollars of um use hundred dollars and you want to buy ada okay so for um one adult is um around two dollars um usd and you can just click um oh i you need more than that you need thirty dollars so for thirty dollars you can purchase 14.9 ada why I choose ADA? ADA is just a um, sample. So under here, right, you will need to add your card. Then you just um, key in the information here and you will be able to purchase using your Visa card or even your MasterCard. So for pay with credit card, debit card is pretty straightforward. And if you can go to third party payments, so under third party payments will be a few um, channel that you will be using one is simplex and buying sad and patio um, initially when i start trading in binance i am using um, um, bank transfer so under bank transfer you will be you will transfer to the silvergate us bank um, from your singapore bank account then you will uh, convert to usd and the fee is zero so it's the cheapest way but you will need around one to two working days in order to get your funds transferred okay so under here right under p2p there's two way one is express and one is um p2p so express is directly um you can you just need to select whatever currency that you are your bank is holding and maybe you just put like 1000 okay and you will be receiving 736.37 and the reference um, price is at 1.358 and you click um, buy okay so um, it will show you either you want to use bank transfer or pay now and the best offer currently at this timing is 1.3 um seven usd for one thousand sing dollars okay if you want to use pay now is 1.376 um yeah usually for pay now it will be slightly um higher so if you don't want you just go back to p2p so under p2p you will be able to use your bank um or bank transfer to purchase usdt or even bitcoin or even busd 
or even Binance Coin, which is BNB and ETH and DAI. I think the most easiest way, if you want to buy BNB or BTC, you can just um, convert your SGD to USDT or BUSD and purchase your tokens under trading which is much more worthwhile because if you are talking about um, the price for BNB that they, they are selling are much more higher than the actual trading at that time so what you usually do is you can either sell or buy your USDT if you have a lot of USDT you can sell your USDT and um, yeah this is the amount you can for example if you have USD you can sell to the vendor here Okay, you can see the orders, the amount of orders and the amount of completion that, that they have finished. So, and the payment mode, some are using bank transfer and some are using pay now. So, you can select which are the um, prices that you prefer. So, usually for sell, the highest rate that they receive will be on the top. Then for buy, the lowest fee that they are selling will be at the, um, will be at the top. Okay, so for example, under here you want to buy some USDT, you can just under here P2P, you just search um, fiat, right? You just select the currency that you are holding. Either you are from Australia, you are using U, uh, AUD, or if you are from China, you are using um, the renminbi, RMB, or you can, um, there's all, a lot of currency here okay so like japanese yen or even korean won or are able to um purchase like for example if you select um um let me see thai baht thb okay if you select here then all the vendor here will be um from thailand so um they will also state how many bahts are exchangeable for how many usd then for us right because we are in uh, singapore so we just select and all the vendor here that is um buying are from Singapore and for example you, uh, they also stated the limit like for example the limit is 5,000 to 10,000 so for this right which means that the minimum order will be 5,000 okay so if you don't want to purchase um, so much right you can just um, select those with very low amount um, but you need to get a few pages like for example this the lowest is at 500 only okay so which means that you are able to purchase um 500 minimum and you if this is good for you and if pay now is also good for you you can just click buy okay so for example you just click buy and under here right um so this is the user then you are able to see how many conviction this person um is uh, had, had done how many completion trading and also how many orders that he, she fulfilled okay and the price that um she is selling is at 1.371 g sgd and available that she is selling is at 36,000 um usd so for example you want to buy just um because the minimum order is 500 right so maybe you just put 500 um and you will calculate how many of uh, usdt is that you will be receiving if you um, pay 500 and you just click pay okay so um, some of the term or condition of different seller they, um, you will need to do KYC so um, you will need to um, contact the seller and to show verification of your photo IC or even your driving license before they release the fund because this is to minimize um, money laundry or even um, interpersonal um, scam yeah I think most of them worry is that um, money laundry so if you do not agree don't purchase from her and don't read then it's up to you all those who have negative feedback are people who didn't read first funds must be obtained legally and suspicious activity will be reported so this is how you purchase if you click buy right then you will just uncontact the person but different seller they have different requirements some are same do not need uh, kyc and um, some are okay to just um, sell you a portion of the um, amount that you require okay so after that you buy buy ready that it will bring you to another screen to um, do the transaction so once you're done ready you just click on transfer and the the seller will release the 
crypto to your um, wallet so under wallet will be under p2p okay so your your usdt or even busd will be under here then after that you just click transfer and transfer to your fiat and spots okay which is here okay so this is your fiat and spots okay so currently um this is where i am holding i have um, polka dots ada axs um and some ethereum okay and you can hide your balance or have small balance or you can hide your balance as well so um yeah okay so you must be asking what if the what will happen if you transfer the payment and the seller didn't um send you the or release the fund for you okay let me do an example um they have a very good system which is um you can appeal so for example the limit of the person right is 15 um 15 minutes so for example you already transfer the amount to the seller and the seller did not release the fund to you you can um launch a appeal okay so the customer support will commence and it will say that um this seller please note that the buyer had already paid and provide proof of payment and please check that if you have received the payment if you still haven't received the payment please provide your account statement as proof and please remember that buyers are not allowed to charge extra and fees to every user three times of the same issue will result in a p ban of binance p2p so if you do not receive feedback from you within five hours binance will automatically release the order to the buyer and we if we found charging extra fee and repeated more than three times and your account will be suspended without any warning so first suspended will be two weeks and the next one will be longer and the amount that you transfer have to be the same as the final amount so for example if the seller state how much then you will just need to um, um transfer the same amount do not um transfer additional or even lesser if not binance support won't attain your case okay for me right you will just um appeal file by user okay so you just did oh i um, make a payment of how much to his account and after that he went mia and you just provide the screenshot of the bank transaction that you um, provide him and um and you will say that uh, customer service has now been involved and will arbitrate the case and please be patient so they have this um policy and after that um after five hours if the seller didn't reply right then you were they will release the fund automatically from the seller to your account okay so um it is pretty safe by using p2p which is this um additional support of from binance okay um i managed to receive the funds this morning because the seller was um have over, have slept during the transaction yeah maybe because it late at night or something like that okay so this is this tutorial is just to show you how to do p2p and what if you do p2p and what are the risks of p2p and uh, what if the seller didn't release the payment to you after you transfer over the funds to his account so um i hope that this video can help you and um remember to like and share and subscribe to our channel and let me know if you encounter this kind of um, p2p incident before and let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching and as i see you in the next bbp video see you and bye bye hello guys first of all welcome to our channel if you enjoy our videos please like and comment below don't forget to click on the bell icons and remember to subscribe and click here for more videos